Hey, what's going on guys? Asia Shmana here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really easy and amazing looking hologram just by using your smartphone and some other stuff. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to make this in a, just a few easy steps. So why, why are we talking right now? Let's just get straight onto it. Okay guys, so things that you're needing to make this are a, um, a clear piece of plastic, okay? okay? Try to get as clear as you can. See, so yeah, I got this from an old report. Um, like cover things so yeah just cut that out and yeah you can just use that and yeah that works perfectly fine you also need a ruler okay you need a pen and you need some tape and last of all some scissors actually not last of all you also need your phone smartphone so yeah let's just get straight into it okay so you want to start off with um creating a six by six square so yeah i've already started that so i don't waste any time with you guys so yeah let's just um draw that line up and yeah let's just finish that one off right there okay guys so the next step that you want to do is you want to get your ruler okay let's just grab that and you'll measure four centimeters okay from down here but you have to measure it from half okay so basically what i mean by that is see how this is six centimeters the okay the line you want to create a little notch okay halfway um through um through that so so six divided by two is three so yeah just make a little um dot at three centimeters in okay okay guys so from that little notch as you can see right there what you want to do is you want to measure four centimeters down there so what you want to do is i'm just going to grab my, my ruler okay and make sure make sure you do not draw a line okay you just want to make another dot okay because that's where our it's called hologram is going to be so yeah we're just going to from four centimeters meters we're just going to make a little dot there as you can see right there we have done that okay so once you've done that, okay, you want to measure one centimetre. So one centimetre on that side and one centimetre on that side. No, nope. sorry, half a centimetre on this side, half a centimetre on this side, just to create one full centimetre. So yeah, I'll show you guys once I've done that. So yeah, we're just going to measure half a centimetre here, okay. Let's do that. Just like this. Okay, so this time we can draw a line. See, so let's just draw that line right there okay guys so once you have that right there that one centimeter okay you just want to do that all around on all four sides so well all other three sides so, yeah i'll show you i'll show you guys once i've done that okay guys so once you have these four sides with the one centimeter um by one uh, by four centimeter lines Okay, once you've done that, you want to move on to the next step, which is really easy. All you have to do is just need to align each of these points, okay? And what you want to do is you just want to draw a line across them, okay? So yeah, let's just do that. Okay, guys, so once you've created your four-sided blunt star, that's yes, guys, that's what I'm going to be calling it. So, yeah, you just want to cut out the shapes. So, yeah, what you want to do is you want to cut out the square. You don't want to cut that out. You just want to cut out the outside line. So, yeah, see, once I've done that. Okay, guys, so once you have finished cutting out, you should just get that. So, yeah, I'm just going to put that away. And, yeah, so you should have this sort of shape. So, what, now what you want to do is you just want to get your ruler. And this is this is just my technique. And... And what I, what I like to do is, I like to put my ruler against the way. Let me just put that up for you guys. I like to put the ruler against the uh, the line, okay? And what you want to do is you just want to bend those uh, those lines, okay? So, yeah, let's just um, curve them in. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm just going to do that to all them, and yeah, see you then. Okay, guys, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is you want to grab a, a thin piece of card, okay, guys? So, I just got this off a packaging that I had from a, an Xbox remote. Okay, so basically what I did was I just took that off, and what I'm going to do is we're just going to measure a one by one square. So yeah. Okay, so once you've got that one by one centimeter square, you just want to cut that out, and yeah. So I'm just going to grab my scissors, and yeah, let's just cut that. Let's go one snip there. Oh, oh God, no! Don't go away. Cardboard. Yep. Yeah, oh, my fingers in the way. One snip there. God, my scissor skills have gone. Yes, there's the skills, okay. They just gone for some reason. Okay, yeah, guys. Once you've got that one by one square, you guys guessed it. Or well, I don't know if you guys did or not, but you just want to put that 
on that end right there. So yeah, we're just going to tape this up, okay? So basically what I mean by that is, we're going to get the tape and we're going to put it along this line, okay? And tape these two sides together. And we're going to do that along the, the whole side. So yeah, that's going to be four uh, pieces of tape going along there. Then, yeah, I'll see you once I've done that. Okay guys, so once you have your pyramid with that uh, one by one centimeter square at the top, just want to grab your one by one by one centimeter piece of card, and yeah, what you want to do is just want to get a piece of tape, okay, and you just want to um, grab that piece and just want to put that right on top of it, okay, leaving some axis on the sides. Just want to tape one on side of this, okay. So you just want to do that, just on top, okay. And once you've got that, you've pretty much done. I'm gonna add another piece just to secure it. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna do that there, and set another piece on top right there. See, so yeah, guys, you've basically done right there and basically this reflects <clears throat> the picture from the phone onto here and does it all the way around here and projecting an image in the middle and that's what it looks like and it creates that illusion that there is a hologram so yeah let's go and test it out okay guys all you have to do to set this up is you just want to grab your pyramid and sit it on top of your four-sided um, um, hologram projector and you're basically I'll be le leaving the link in the description in the description below and yeah you guys can just click on that video and it should give you all the different holograms uh, in this in, yeah in, in the link so guys I'm just gonna give you guys an overview of how this is so basically I have the um, the picture at the bottom and yeah basically that projects it into the middle of that and as you look at it from the side it does look like a hologram so thanks for watching this video, please comment, rate and subscribe to this channel and if you haven't already, just give this video a thumbs up and that really does help and by the way, I just want to tell you guys again that we did hit 800 subscribers so thank you a lot for this because it has really helped. So as always, see you in the next one and don't forget to leave suggestions and questions for the Q&A that's coming up very soon with Spike Franks. So as I said before, see you in the next one.